Wisconsin in town for the gathering of nations and their regalia was stolen. Well, tonight they're back in Albuquerque for a different reason. Anchor Sasha Leninger joins us now. And Sasha, we actually have some good news to share tonight. Yeah, Shelly, we love sharing good news when we have the chance to do so. So the Webster family back in the Duke City this week because the regalia, that stolen regalia was found. The family says they are grateful for the woman who spotted it and never thought this day would come. It's a moment they've been waiting for. It's just like I, I can't even describe it. A surreal one for Josephine Webster, her son and his two friends. I think I'm going to cry. I know I'm going to cry when I see it, Mom. I am, you know, and and it wasn't until we actually got it. It was like, holy man, this is this is real. Her native regalia stolen in 2022 found in perfect condition. In April of that year, the family traveled from Wisconsin to Albuquerque for the Gathering of Nations, North America's biggest powwow. What started as an amazing time quickly changed. Their regalia stolen out of their car while parked at the La Quinta Inn off Iliff. Three sets were taken, one belonging to her son, the other two, his friends. So last week I got a call, or I got a text message from a lady and she said, um, hey, I just, I wanted to message you and let you know that I think I have your beadwork. And I've gotten calls like that for the last year and a half and I'm like, okay, can you send me a picture of it? She says, yeah, I'll send it in a minute, but they never came through. So I was like, well, I don't know if it's mine if you don't send me a picture. And all these pictures came through and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's the beadwork. The woman wants to stay anonymous, but Webster says she's an antique collector and saw the items at an online auction. She's like, I remember seeing this on the news. She was like, I went back on to um, the news, like the old news clippings or whatever. And she was like, and it was it. Like I knew that this was it. The woman finding and buying every missing piece. I told her, I said, I will give you everything back that you paid for this. And she was like, absolutely not. Nope, like this belongs to you and I want it back, you know, with your kids. The box containing every item from all three sets, everything returned to the Webster family. You know what, you are an angel. Like, I don't even know how to explain, you know, and when we met her, we just hugged and it was just like we knew each other forever. She says the entire community has been on the lookout ever since. It was really nice to know that it wasn't ever forgotten, even though it's been this long. And they can't say thank you enough. The perfect Christmas gift for the Webster family this year. Now, they didn't come to the Gathering of Nations this year because of their stolen regalia. So, of course, we asked, do they plan to come back next year for the Gathering of Nations? Simply put, absolutely. And they want to bring the woman who found the regalia with them because she's never been to a powwow before. A happy ending to the story here. Shelly, back to you. Yeah, definitely. Sasha, thanks. The next Gathering of Nations powwow is set for April 25th to the 27th here in Albuquerque at Expo, New Mexico.